I got two for him. This is a nice move. <laughs> I'm Mikey Williams. Mikey Williams. There's 10 things I can't live without. Can't live without haircuts. Gotta eat a haircut. I get a haircut every week. It's home in here. They usually be like four days, five days. I let go past and I get another cut. I gotta be looking right. Every Hooper knows you have to get a cut. It's Mando. Like I will like I won't show up to graduation if I don't have a cut. I don't care. I've never had short hair. <laughs> I've never thought about cutting my hair off, no, not once. Everybody asks me what kind of haircut I got. Tell your barber to give you the MW1. Can't live without my phones. It's not that I be on them all the time, but it's just like, you gotta use a phone to communicate with people. Yo, can you, can you open the gym for me? Oh uh, man, I'm out there right now, I'm out of town. I got two phones. This is a nice move. I got two phones. One's a business phone, and then one's my personal phone. Your phone kind of like a whole nother world, you feel me? You just communicate with people without having to see them. Can't live without Jordans. It's just a cultural thing. These these are my favorite threes, for sure. Got these clubs right here. Mm -hmm. Shout out Bernie. Bernie gave me these, was like, he was in seventh grade. Y'all didn't seen the collection before. I done added some stuff to it. We got the Travis Scott sixes. You feel me? You gotta know how we coming. My favorite Jordan is probably fours or elevens. I got some MW1 joints. You got me as a jump man. Damn. If I see a sneaker that I really like, it's like, all right, I'm gonna get it. These are my latest pair of joints. These came in on the day. Can't go wrong with black cements. These black cements, right? Y'all know these, I see these. And you can obviously wear Jordans. A casual suit. I got some more right now. I can't live without basketball. I can't live without that. I grew up on basketball. It's kind of been my whole life. I always got to be around it. It's basketball. Shit, I really live for it. Every time I step on the floor, I gotta show up. If I want something, I'm gonna go get it. Are you satisfied yet? Never satisfied. Another thing I can't live without is tattoos. I feel like it's art. I feel like I'm expressing myself. A lot of thought goes into tattoos. First tat, Psalms 23-4. That one, right? Yeah. Though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Stenciling up the tattoo right now, and then from there it's gonna go on his skin, and then it's game time. I'm ready for it. Now me not knowing, what areas are more tender, you feel me? I was like, I just want a tattoo. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oof. Woo. This hurts. That hurt the most. <laughs> <laughs> that in my legs, that hurt the most. Once I got the first one, I got this one a week later, Kobe died, but I added to this, it was just the plain number and then the little cross on the back and the words, but I added the shade and all that stuff to the sleeve. And it just kept going. 805 South, so I'm like from South of 805. This is Freeway, San Diego, so people in California know what this is. And then I got Dago right here, City. 619 right here, you feel me? I gotta feel this in right here. But besides it's on next, I'll probably do my chest. Fear nothing second and soon. Uh, one thing I probably can't live without is fishing. I started fishing like a couple years ago, it's not consistent, but I like go like every once in a while. Or or <laughs> I like eating fish, so it's like catching fish is fun. Look, boom! Like that, baby. And then when you throw it, you can just let it go like this, watch that. You know what I'm saying? Simple, right? When they eat the bait, bro, it's like, what kind of fish is this, bro? <laughs> it's fun. Oh, 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 what fit that damn? Oh, what the? Oh, they took my bait? Oh, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Got it, man. Ah! When I'm fishing, I just be cooling, like, 
I don't got nothing to do, that's what I go do, is just go MIA and then just go fishing. You feel me? Just chill. Look, you like him. Can't live without family. I mean, everybody know why, obviously. Life without my parents, ooh, I wouldn't be here. Your family, they raise you, they shape you. Oh, yeah, I tell <laughs> you. That's what family's supposed to do, you know, push you to be the best you you can be. <laughs> I miss Marvin and Sky, my mom, my grandma. Bro, it's seven in the morning, bro. What are you doing? Bro, bro shut up. I miss being Marvin up. That's why you're trash. The only reason why you're uh, what? famous is because you play versus Bronny. Shut it up. <laughs> I can't live without music. Music is like cultural, bro. Like, without music, the world would be lame. Living with no music is just like, what's the point of even living? <laughs> you just put up to Rolling Loud, and they get lit. Rolling Loud makes the motherfucking noise! I listen to YB, I listen to Lil Baby. I probably listen to them two the most. I got a relationship with a few rappers. I got a relationship with YB, NBA Young Boy. I went to the concert. I went backstage with him and stuff. And we started hooping. We was just like, we hooped for like two hours. We was just kicking it. It was OD fun, I ain't gonna lie. And then that night, I was at the concert, Drake hit me and told me to pull up with him. And then he asked me to do the bait thing for him. I thought it was gonna be like a photo shoot, but I didn't know like it was a commercial for the collab for OV and Babe. Drake's big bro. I don't call people big bro. Drake's like Drake big bro type. I can't live without Instagram. Not because I'm a fiend, but it's because like I have a huge support system. You feel me? A lot of people like really look up to me and support me. So it's like I gotta just be there for y'all, how y'all there for me. My Instagram growth been crazy over years. Hey, one milli, baby, you hit that. I mean, when you pay attention to it too much, it can mess with your head, just like social media and just the media in general. A million followers will make you go crazy. Make you think you're an internet superstar or something. I'll just deactivate my account and sometimes when I just want to lay it on and duck off and just not be bothered. Like, I didn't work for this position, but this position just came with what I'm working for and I didn't know it was just gonna take off like this. Mom, yeah. I'm like that. I'm about to start posting on my TikTok too, so y'all tune in. Ooh, I can't live without seafood, bro. If you know me, bro, seafood is fire. Everybody tell me I eat seafood way too much. I eat it at least once a week, twice a week. Crab, lobster, shrimp. All right, look, at Crafty Crab, this is my go-to right here, so y'all know. I get a pound of snow crab, because the king crab be hard to open. I don't like pointy things in my fingers. Half pound of headless shrimp. I get two lobster tails, a half pound of sausage, corn, potatoes, and a sauce. I usually get the butter, garlic, and the Cajun mixed together. Mild, I don't like it too hot. It mess with my stomach. I'm about to go get it right now after I'm done with this interview. So whenever this camera goes black or overtime, Larry pops up and just starts talking or whatever happens, I'm going to get some crap. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get fly like your guy Larry go check out that gear right quick and check out the videos right here and subscribe stop playing games man I'm trying to tell y'all